Alrighty guys, it's Quincy's Car Life here, and today I got another video for you. It's not a cooking video, it's actually a car review. So today, I have a 2011 Subaru Outback 2.5i Premium, and here's the key. It's a key fob in one combo, it has unlock, lock, unlock for the trunk, and the panic button. So let me go ahead and sound off the panic alarm. <coughs> That's very loud. And let's go ahead and get into the video. So it is in this silver color with black interior. As you can see. And it does have a power driver seat with power lumbar. And this is the black cloth as I said. I'm going to have to scoot back the seat. Okay. So here's the steering wheel. It is a three-spoke steering wheel. Let's go ahead and start it. So it has a traditional key. You just stick it in this aluminum key slot. And as you can see, it has a gauge swipe. Turn that down. So here's the steering wheel. This does have a... CVT transmission with manual select shift mode with paddle shifters. So let's go ahead and check out the engine. Oh, I think I plugged it. So let's go ahead and check out the engine. Oh, by the way, it does have an automatic driver's side window. So let's check out the engine. So there's the engine, the 2.5i Boxer engine. So there's the front of it. It does have projector beam, halogen headlights, with halogen fog lights. And here are the rims. These are 17 inch alloy wheels. It does have this black cladding to make it look a little bit more off-roady look. It does have the Outback written on the side. And it does have the roof rails. Here's the gas cap. And here's the back of it. Those are halogen tail lamps with a rear window wiper. And all Subarus, except for the WRX, come standard with symmetrical all-wheel drive. So let's go ahead and take a look on the interior. Or let's look at the headlights, too. So let's turn them on. These are on auto. And I'm going to turn on the fog lights. So there are your headlights. So now let's check out the interior. Okay, so on the interior here, you do have a nice gauge cluster, as I said. You do get power windows, power door locks, and power mirrors, which are controlled right here. You twist it right to, and then you adjust. This is to brighten up your dashboard. You also have an electronic parking brake with heel assist and traction control down here there also is a little change bin or that might be the fuse box so here you have an AM FM stereo which this one does not have satellite radio but back whenever it was brand new you probably could get satellite radio you have all your different features for it up here this tells you how many miles you have to empty 
your time and your uh, temperature outside and it tells you if your passenger airbag is on or off and if you hear the wind coming out of the air vents it's because it's the air vent so here you have your Bluetooth system this is probably an aftermarket Bluetooth you also have your air conditioning here single zone this controls your fan speed this controls your temperature you have all your different zones and front defrost this is your AC button and these are your hazards you do have heated seats a little change holder two um, cup holders here in the front you do have a two tier two tier glove box as you can see up here you got a window visor or a visor with illuminated mirror you also have your lights here how do you turn them on there's a little button to turn them on you have a little sunglass holder You also have a little oblank candle on all four sides. And this is also an auto dimming mirror with compass. And I think this might have a backup camera. No, it don't. So, yeah. So, let's go ahead and check out the back seat. So, let's get in the back. So, here in the back, you have your door with soft touch materials, your window switch a little cubby and a speaker you also have a chrome door handle and this little satin metal trim look now here are your seats these do recline and fold down which I will show you later you also have a little center console which folds up to make into a third seat so I'm about 5'10 and a quarter and that was me sitting in the front seat. I have about that much room. You also have a little cubby. And also a little net pocket area. There's your little light. And another old blank candle with a little hook. There is the dashboard. So, let's go check out the trunk space. Alrighty, so to open up the trunk, you can unlock it with this button here. It's like a little trunk button, if it'll focus. There you go. Or, you can open it up by a little latch that's right below the Subaru emblem. And it opens up, and as you can see, you got this nice little area. And you can also fold down those seats. This has a weather floor mat. And you can lift this up and you see you have more storage under there and I think there's also a spare tire but yeah you also have a little cargo hooks and this car could be opted with a little cargo net if it came with it and then you have a little handle to shut it So this is a look at a 2011 Subaru Outback 2.5i Premium. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and comment. And I will see y'all later. Bye.